everyone. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a very, very exciting species, something that a very good hunter, easily available. Uh, most people that have fished in the estuary would have caught one by now, and uh, quite an enigmat enigmatic species, something that's uh, very different to something else. So it's a perfect little blend. Today's species, the bar-tailed flathead, often called a gurnard. I prefer bar-tailed flathead, it's got a lot more, lot more meaning to it. Uh, Platycephalus indicus, so Platycephalus flathead, indicus coming from India. No, I'm just joking. Um, so the flathead and bar-tailed side of it comes from that its actual tail itself has got black, white and yellow markings on it. Sort of like almost stripes, blotches, kind of a mix between the two. Not very um, definitely marked. But it's very different from your long head flathead, which is slightly different but not as common. Anyway, so the tail, markings on it, long sort of elongated fish, but flattened in the front. So, verging on almost like a screwdriver type of setup, a flathead screwdriver. Flattened in the front and then turning into a tube, if that makes sense. Now, front of the fish sits nice and flat, flat head sits there, eyes are sitting right on the top of the head like that. So it can see it moves and ticks above it like that the whole time. So they designed to sit flat along the bottom and they ambush pretty much anything that moves. So he'll sit along there, watch if he sees a little shrimp coming along or sees a little fish. They've got a very big mouth for their size and they've got very, very sharp little pin teeth. So he's designed to shoot his mouth, grab and hold on to anything and suck it in. So he hides along the bottom, something pops around, coming to pass him again, nails it and he's, he's got his food for the week and he hasn't moved at all. So he's just sitting, chilling out, getting a lot of energy for not doing much work. In terms of coloration, they are a sandy color, sandy mottled all the way through, and their bellies are a little bit whiter like that. So it's, but most of it's that sandy sort of mottledy tan color. Um, one thing we do have to note, they are, they've got these spikes all along their gill plates and on some of their fins, and they are razor, razor sharp. Most of the guys that are caught a flathead would have been cut by it at some point along the hand or something like that. But when it comes to handling, you can put your hand in their mouth, your, your, your thumb just grip down nicely, and don't go too far in, otherwise he grabs just above there and actually hurts you on that little section of skin there. Alternately, you can grab his whole mouth, close it shut like that, but if you can, keep it long, use a long nose pair of pliers, grab the hook and just pop it out. If he has swallowed it, just cut it off where the seawater will eventually sort of corrode that, that hook out. So, so not, not too much of an issue there, but yeah, just be careful of those gill plates and the spikes. And uh, yeah, you just gotta, just gotta be wary of those little gill plates. Sizing wise, uh, you sort of get them up to about a meter but commonly about 30 cent, anywhere around 30 centimeters to about 70 centimeters is your common size. Um, and you get them, as we mentioned, mainly in estuaries, but they do go down to about 25 meters of water thereabouts. We have had guys catch them deeper offshore and things like that, but to, to actively target them, estuaries are really your place to go. So here in Durban Harbour specifically, um, the sandbanks in front of Wilson's Wharf and on the right of Yacht Mall are sort of where you're going to want to be. Um, on the if, normally they can hang on that little drop off of the sandbank or on the sandbank itself in little depressions and things like that. So if you can find areas where little dips are or on the little, little break between the deep water and the sandbank, that's going to be your main area to target them. And in terms of lures, baits, that kind of thing, bait wise, Literally anything you can throw, ideally little crackers, they, they love crackers, um, and then little meaty baits. But I've caught them on anything from bread to cracker shrimp, uh, to, you can even, I've, I've seen guys catch them on earthworms and things, I mean, it's, they, they are they're very opportunistic feeders. And in terms of your lures, a small paddle tail is probably the best, and you just have to whip it along and keep it as close to the bottom as possible, just winding, don't, don't hop it. You just want to keep it just, just, just off the bottom, just wiggling like that. And he'll, he'll hit that very, very hard. But you can catch him on any of your artificials. He's one of the most fun fish to catch, because he actually he puts up a fairly decent fight for his size, if you're using the light tackle that we recommend. But he's not, he's a very easily available fish. There are hundreds of them. Um, normally on a sandbank, it's, it's full of them. So if nothing else is doing, the more exciting species aren't there, it's really worth going after these little flathead. Um, 
And in terms of if you're going to go for fly fishing for them, which I highly recommend, something like a, a red knight, a half and half, a little deceiver, something like that's going to stay fairly close to the bottom and it's got a lot of movement in it that, that gets them going. But literally anything will, will work for them. In terms of if you want to, if you do want to eat them, very very nice meat, they're highly prized, but you don't get a lot of meat to the fish, so the, your 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 meat yield isn't very high per fish because it's got a lot of him as head and it's literally just two tubes of meat along the back. But yeah, it is a good eating fish if you want, and they are a few around with them, so if you do want to keep one or two, it isn't that isn't gonna be an issue. So that's pretty much it for Flathead. He's he's a sessile species, he's staying very stationary, but he does short little bursts just to catch his food. Once he's hooked, he does put up a fairly decent fight for himself. Um, not the same as something like a kingy or anything like that, but he's, he's there, he's uh, freely available and there are a hell of a lot of him in the estuary. So when things have gone quiet, really a species worth targeting. So yeah, get out in the estuary, go on the sandbanks and uh, throw your little lures around. You're definitely going to come right. Bartel flooded. Cheers. Mm.